Greenhouse gas emissions from the energy sector are the primary contributor to climate change, which is why governments and businesses must act quickly to build sustainable solutions to safeguard our planet's future. Lloyd's and the global insurance industry can help customers with their net zero ambitions by providing innovative insurance products and services that enable communities, businesses and economies to build greater climate resilience. With a reliable generation process and one less dependent on external factors such as wind and sunlight, nuclear is a proven low carbon source of energy. With appropriate financing, nuclear power in the 21st century can be cost competitive with other low carbon power sources and is fundamental to reaching global net zero energy targets. Lloyd's acts as a regulator and marketplace that provides nuclear insurance solutions globally and is central to providing nuclear coverage given its long history of protecting society against the complex risks posed by the sector. Since the 1950s, the global insurance industry has provided insurance for the unique needs of nuclear energy projects through risk pooling alongside public and private partnerships. As the world's largest global nuclear risk insurer, NRI provides coverage for civil nuclear installations, property damage, machinery breakdown, business interruption, nuclear third-party liability and construction for over 300 nuclear sites around the world. They play a key role in providing the industry with the social license it needs to operate, writing direct insurance cover and acting as a lead reinsurance pool to domestic nuclear pools established around the world. NRI and Lloyd's and its partnership really is a shared culture and we innovate together, not only in providing the insurance solutions to the nuclear industry, but also in the way that we syndicate risk. Just as Lloyd's syndicates risk in the market, that's exactly what NRI does by pooling the syndicates that wish to provide that nuclear capacity. And then we also reciprocate capacity within the international pooling system so that we're um, diversifying that risk exposure. NRI is very conscious that we provide insurance to the nuclear industry, which itself is a low carbon industry. And so in 2019, we took action. We looked at how much carbon we produced and we found that we produced 270 tonnes of carbon in that year. We aim to reduce our carbon footprint by 2030 to half of that number. But in the meantime, we're using offset programmes, so essentially we are net zero. NRO works closely with government and regulators around the world through our understanding of the commercial consequences, the practical consequences of how nuclear works, how it's built, how it's operated. We're able to do that because we have our own engineers who understand the risks. That's the basis on which we price the risks. So we understand the industry as well as many of the companies who operate it. That skill means that we're able to have a dialogue with governments very crisply to help them form policy that's informed by practical reality. The nuclear industry will evolve enormously in the future. It has to, because it's a critical part of achieving net zero. We need to build huge gigawatt scale nuclear plants to deliver that net zero. As part of that, there are new businesses, there are new opportunities, there's new technologies, and they all need support. They need commercial support, they need insurance support. And it's critical for NRI to help link Lloyd's and all the capital here to those opportunities to make sure that those businesses grow as quickly as they can, as safely as they can, and that investors are reliably attracted to them. To hit net zero in the UK, we have to recognise that 80% of our current energy comes from fossil fuel. That all has to be replaced. That means building four times the size of the current electricity sector to replace that. But the existing electricity sector itself has less than 25 years remaining useful life. That's all got to be replaced too by 2050. 
So as part of all this, nuclear is one of the very few forms of low carbon primary energy. So whatever the system is that's built, nuclear will be a big part of it, and therefore it's a huge opportunity for NRI, for Lloyds, for the syndicates, for the capital, to help make the world a safer place. EDF plays a significant role as one of the largest low carbon providers of global electricity, serving over 40 million customers worldwide. So EDF is looking to support the UK to move to a net zero economy through a mix of renewable and nuclear energy, which will produce a secure and affordable and reliable source of energy mix. EDF will also be investing £50 billion in renewable energy such as wind and solar, including nuclear, as we support our plan for a green recovery. So EDF is actively engaged in discussions with the UK Government on the possible construction of Sizewell C, which will be a duplicate of our Hinkley Point C EPR project. We look to support these new nuclear projects by a mix of uh, the nuclear pooling system, the nuclear mutuals, and also an EDF captive. We are highly reliant on the Lloyd's capacity that they can provide to us, and we need Lloyd's to be innovative and have a long-term view on these projects as we move forward. And the complexity of them is important in terms of the insurance mix as we move towards operations in the future years. EDF obtains around 25% of its insurance cover for construction risk through the Lloyds market and approximately 85% of its insurance cover for operational risk. Key products that EDF require are nuclear property damage insurance and nuclear third-party liability insurance. As the nuclear industry continues to grow, and the global economy transitions towards net zero, Lloyd's ability to support innovation and change becomes even more important. Find out more about Lloyd's work across multiple sectors to achieve global decarbonisation targets. Join the reset at lloyds.com forward slash join the reset. <laughs>